A long time ago, Victor Hugo wrote a story about this place because he saw it in a state of disrepair and he wanted the ancient places of France to be recommended and claimed so that they were preserved. That was the Hunchback of Notre Dame. A lot of us know it as the Happy Disney story that came out in the 90s, but it's actually a tragedy that ends because of one man's greed. That's the man who found the baby, a deformed child that was left. The man was a very prominent figure here at this church, and he took Quasimodo, the deformed child, took him under his wing and grew him up in the church. Then along came Esmeralda, a beautiful gypsy. She claimed the love of many people because of her beauty, including the man who was in charge of this church and who mentored Quasimodo. The man's jealousy led him to have Esmeralda hang. The first time she was saved by Quasimodo once he fell in love with her because she had brought him water after a public embarrassment. He did save her, but the second time around, the greedy man was able to make sure that she was hung. While he laughed at this, Quasimodo shoved him from the top of one of the towers, where he clung to a gargoyle but then couldn't hold on any longer. He fell to his death from one of the towers. Afterwards, Quasimodo went to the grave of Esmeralda, and he was found there a long time later. Once they went to move his body, his bones turned to dust. That's the tragic tale of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I wanted to give you this perspective on this beautiful square in Paris, France, and the story that made this place famous. It is a novel of fiction, and it is a beautiful tale of tragedy, as most beautiful tales are. Thanks for tuning in, and come back very soon.